Ginger Jester. This is Children of Morta, the beta. I think it's limited time, so I figured I'd jump on that because I've been watching for this game. Oh, that's a mountain exploding. Not usually a good thing. Margaret awoke, oh. startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. She gathered her thoughts. Aged wood creaked, echoing through the quiet rooms. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana. Goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea, and a being of comfort. Margaret sought answers. But the goddess did not speak. There was only the faint whisper of something dark, something hungry. The old seer's bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. The only thought on her mind has it begun again? Wow, look at that spray art. Pixel art, whatever you want to call it. Man, I love pixel art. This game has some pretty John good pixel Jordan art. Oh. Be a simple one. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shard. From his brother came a newly sharpened sword. His wife gave him a kiss and his daughter's hugs were full of reason to return home safe. What about the skanky lady on the left? His mistress didn't interact with him because his wife was also present. <laughs> she gave him her gift the night before. Okay. Alright, um, I'll admit I don't remember much about this game. I just remembered that Children of Morta was the name of a game that I was interested in. And I think I might have put it on my Steam wishlist. I don't remember. But when I opened up Steam today, it was like, hey, Children of Morta, free beta. Whoa, you moved pretty fast. Left click is attack. I kill a bird. Alright, so I can move in one direction and attack in the other. Species dodge. Looks like this is a stamina meter. Or whatever. Rhea, this is. A land long forgotten. A place of unimaginable beauty. Buttons. Life shift is how I block. Okay.
Huh? That must be a checkpoint or something? <clears throat> it first appeared as sludge given life. Oh, uh, John uses his sword to attack enemies. Left foot. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Cool. So, when you're blocking, he does stab. But when you're not blocking, he does sweep. Whoop. 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 Not very threatening. <laughs> this game's easy. I feel like this is a, a good opportunity to retell my story about the guy who didn't play Dark Souls because it was too easy. And I was like, how far did you get? And he was like, uh, I played for like 10 minutes. I was like, oh, so you didn't get past the tutorial. <laughs> the part that's supposed to be easy so you can learn how to play the freaking game. Oh, Dead rabbit. Die more! Uh, oh, hi. You, you seem like you would be more threatening. You're moving faster, you have more health, more aggressive towards me. You don't seem to like my existence, but you're all dead now, so that's fine. Uh, can I, can I have? One, 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 one. Okay, if there's a way to pick this up, it is not working. Uh, paid attacks, the right time to avoid incoming danger. You gave bar under care feet. Shows when they can evade or space to evade. Under a character's feet? The sword was all. This is how John attacks, but now it's saying under a character's feet. Are there other characters? I guess the game is called Children of Morta, not Child of Morta. Although I don't know if the title is even referring to John. Who is Morta? She must be hot if she has multiple children. That's some stupid logic, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> as soon as that came out of my mouth, I was like, what am I even saying? Oh, so that was a health potion. I couldn't pick up the other one because my health was full. A bear? Or? Yeah, it's got tusks. Probably a boar. That's dead porcupine. Sanic, no! A wall. Impeding further progress. A battle was certain. Don has a special ability to use his shield to block the incoming attacks. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Come at me, bro. I will fuck your mother. As though I were your father. Yeah. Bergsons use their shard of life to cleanse corrupt objects. Bergsons? My Bergsons? By light itself, the corruption abated. Leaving the shard cold in hand, dark, in need of life. Okay, so that's a really pretty way of saying that uh, the shards are one-time use. So I guess that's basically a E, a locked door, some way to think about it. What are you, Doggo? I think it's Doggo. Die, bird! Greater chests require a gemstone to open. Gemstones are found in different places. This animal's corpse. What? Like, this animal corpse? Oh! Oh, hi. The shard grew warm, humming softly from the harnessed energy. So I just harnessed its life force, I guess? Damage enemies burn in fire. Fun grace, powerful item that aids you with luck. Huh. huh. I thought it was a spell or something. I guess it just applied to my sword? 
Narrator says you're more dangerous. I don't like it. Definitely more active. Huh? Gain experience as you kill enemies. By reaching a certain amount of XP, you will gain a skill point. You can use skill points to upgrade your abilities in the skill tree. Let's have to open the skill tree. Get a skill point when you gain enough XP. You got it. Spend skill points to learn new skills. Yes. What the ability description can be seen on the right panel? Call down swords from the heavens upon John's enemies. Right. Look. Uh huh. Yeah. More skills available as you more skill points. There you go. Okay, and that's it's got a cooldown. Doesn't have a. Uh, MP or stamina or anything like that. Cool now. That's cool. I can get behind that. Goblins, a familiar threat, <laughs> albeit farther <laughs> out than usual. I don't pop. Pop. Dry shit. Om nom nom. Poop. Poop in your mouth. Magnificent, but dangerous. A land of love found and of love lost. It's like it's a land of floating pretty rocks. Is that what love is? Before him was sacred ground, left untouched in days gone by. Remaining calm and collected, the shock of his heart skipping beats was concealed in expert fashion. Before him stood Linda, his eldest daughter, with bow and quiver at the ready, oh. determined to do her part. That makes uh my commentary earlier a little awkward. Sir, your mistress? She's actually your, your eldest daughter? That's really, really gross of you, sir. Um, create a temporary aura that was in your mind anyway. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ah! Fire. Okay. Hello, daughter! Oh, sorry, daughter. I was trying to greet you, accidentally summoned lightning bolt swords from the sky. Boom. So. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, this is cool. I got a little companion helper. Fine relic. That's cute only to find out its power. Hey, ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh, that's neat. Before the Guardians were not beasts feeding, but monsters consuming, destroying others, they corrupted and distorted, creating even more hungry husks. That seems really inefficient. Uh-oh. 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 No. Ah, that's bad. All of this is bad. Except my daughter. My daughter is really good. Don't say in the sack. Don't say in the sack. Don't say in the sack. Oh, don't say in the sack. Ah. Okay. This could have gone better, but it could have gone worse as well. Yeah. Both father and daughter gathered their thoughts, their hearts heavier than before. How would they explain what they had witnessed? Well, it's all kind of video, you see. The ancient tree had been cut down. Together, 
Father and daughter described the horror. Creatures dripping with decay that slithered into bodies stuck between life and death to bolster their ranks. Grandma Margaret confirmed what they all feared. It was the corruption. A cruel entity spoken of only with hushed voices. An ocean of darkness that flowed from the top of Mount Morta. And the Bergson's duty was to stand against this devouring deluge of death. John steeled his nerves, thinking of the difficult climb ahead of him and his daughter. The only thought that consumed his mind by all the curses. Where is that boy right now? Kevin was also eager to do his part in the family's fight, especially when his older brother Mark was off somewhere. He was as much a guardian of their mountain home as any of them. She stood. If they were to reach the summit and destroy this evil, as the Bergsons of old had done in the past, they would need the assistance of the Sanctuary. Whoa, they got a back here? Given to the Bergsons by Rhea herself, the sanctuary was a gateway to the mysterious lands around the mountain. Margaret pointed to the huge crystal at the center of the den, revealing their next task, to activate it and open the way to the source of the corruption. And once Rhea's three spirits are gathered on the grounds, the only gate to the top of Mount Morta will open in this chamber. By himself, or with the assistance of those who loved him, John needed to gather the three spirits from their lands. Without them, he would not be able to stem the flow of the corruption. Okay, so this is basically our level spot. Oh, this is so cool. Everything about this game is so cool! Look at this! This reminds me of Castlevania 2? 3? I think it's 3, the one with the map. But also, uh... Some of the SNES ones. Or Genesis ones, I don't remember which ones are which. I kind of played them all in... The run of like, two weeks. So they're all kind of a jumble now, looking back. Uh, Silk Tavern, one out of three. The webs littered brown walls and seals. Great. Six spiders. Oh, I get to play as Linda? Well, if you give me the choice between a competent, strong, charismatic, uh, and likable male character who has every purpose in the story, and hot titty boob lady? I will always pick that hot titty boob lady. A celestial shard chipped directly from the ancient crystal in the sanctuary. It would be the Berkson's lifeline, a tether to pull them back home before death's fateful whisper. <laughs> Your little mouth's going, Thank you, Grandma! Yeah, thanks, Mom. Alright. So I'm... I'm just solo now. I got a little map in the corner! Oh, she doesn't have any abilities. What? But she can dodge twice. Oh, she does a little flip! Yes, I'm. I am checking to see if they have boob jiggle physics. I think they do. It's really hard to tell <laughs> because she's so small. But it does look like her chest is flopping around like crazy. I mean, you try having tits and not wearing a bra and running. It doesn't matter how far away you are. Them tits are gonna go. Anyway, what's your hook? Ah, cool. I can just. Oh, 
can just hold the button. Alright, so this is very different from playing as John. Whoa! Get back, you eight-legged freaks! Ha! Ooh, monies. So this is, I guess, the first real level, because that was all tutorial. Oh, oh, oh! Now would be a really good time to have a uh, backup or like an ability or something. Oh! <laughs> First rule of zombie land cardio! Of course, gemstone! Oh no! This is bad! Oh, I'm just pulling more! Her arrows have like a little radius to them. Like I'm hitting all three of those dudes at once. Whew. Whew. Okay. What, is, what does that mean? Cool. I did a thing. Ha. Huh. Oh boy. That was something else. I'm at about half health. Ah. Uh. Yeah, playing as her is quite different from uh, playing as Ja. Ooh, spiders move quickly. I'm not fan. Can't like maneuver the camera down. Ooh, hey. What did I get? Did I get anything? Cool. Oh, skill points, okay. <laughs> Big smile on her face. Yeah. Is this? Oh, I can attack. Oh, good. Oh, good. I needed that. Whew. <laughs> uh, okay, for that. Where are you? Oh, that opens the door. All right, I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna go this way. I can maneuver the camera a little bit. It kind of follows my mouse around. So you have a little bit of control over where you can see, but it's uh, it's very limited. But it seems, well, obviously it's intentional because they don't want you to know what you're getting into. I would assume. Oh, good. This looks like a thing. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, hello you! Yeah! Linda gained a skill point. Uh, so what? Paranize. Decreases the stamina. Limina. Limina! Must consume while moving and shooting. Increasing duration she can perform. Oh! That's why I. I thought I was, like, walking into stuff and I wasn't paying attention, but every now and then when I was running away from the horde of enemies that were after me, she would just stop. And I would have to, like,. I don't know, I'd, I'd just keep pressing different directions until she moved again. I thought I was stuck, but I guess she's uh, running out of stamina. Explosive crescendo. Loose an arrow skyward to fall upon Linda's enemies with explosive force. That's the right click. Uh, I think this one will be more immediately useful. Yeah, so if I'm like running away from an enemy, I can be like, Oh, still on cooldown. <laughs> Excellent demonstration, me. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, boom. Uh, it's actually pretty quick. I was more thinking of it oh, as a trap that I could set, but uh... before our hero, a game of chance and a memory. Okay. I don't excel at either of those. My luck stat is zero, as I've stated in other let's plays, and. uh... My memory is equivalent to uh, a goldfish. Oh, oh, good, 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 good. Group up! Yeah, that was not very strong.
Bam. It is quite useful, though. Okay, uh, so what is this? Huh? Ah, yeah, see, she, uh, she got tired again. So she can still shoot, just not move. Uh, okay, so I, 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 that one's good. This one is bad. Uh, this one also summoned enemies, but... <sighs> okay. 50-50. No! My luck, my luck stat is zero. Not my character, me. IRL. Jester. This one, and then this one, and then this one. Yay, now give me a prize. It better be a cookie. My cookie. It turned into money. I guess I can use the money to buy a cookie. I really wanted the cookie. Okay. Oh, I still don't have a gemstone to get you. Let's see what awaits us in this direction. Hi. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, eat that, bitches. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I literally just saw Steam was like, it's free right now, and I was like, I remember the name of that and being interested in it, so yeah, let's do it. I didn't actually, like, refresh my memory or anything, I probably should've. Oh, that's just a, like, a whirlpool trap. Parkour. Ah, no. Please stop, stop being alive, thank you. Oh boy, I need some health. Mr. Skellyman, can you give me some health? No? How about you, spiders? No? Bat? No? Okay. Yeah! That was kind. Thank you, Bat. I'll never forget you. Until I do. Right. It's through here. <laughs> Look at her little dance! Yeah. Oh, I love this. Duh. If only she had uh, some sort of melee attack, I'd feel a lot better about her. But I guess that's the trade-off. You got a melee character and a ranged character. And have both. Oh, good. My cat has decided he wants to be noisy. As, as per usual, he seems to like doing that when I'm recording. Can you not do that? Go! Get out of it! I'm gonna scratch the couch. This is NBD. Well, yes, it is a BD. That is our new couch, and you have it ruined already. Anyway. Da, 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 da. Whoa! Huh? No. No. Okay. Huh? Can I Dark Souls? I can! Yeah. The silhouette thing is giving me the idea that, uh, you know, they obviously have this mechanic so you can see your character behind something. Is there going to be a point where, like, I'm moving through caves and I can't see my character? As in, like, uh, say I find an opening in this wall and I go in and all I can see is the silhouette and I can't see the enemies. That would be horrifying. Yeah, my cat's just wandering around the house now screaming. That's cool. For the record, if you've never heard me talk about my cat before, he just does that sometimes. He, uh, he doesn't, he has food, he has clean litter, he's, 
Like, I give him lots of attention. Just every now and then, he's he just wants to wander around and scream for a bit. Yeah. Totem of Defiance. A totem that knocks enemies back. That sounds useful for an archer to have. What? That's a long cooldown. That's cool, though. So yeah, this, uh... That definitely makes it seem like this is a roguelike, or roguelite, whatever it's called. I hate video game terminology nowadays. Uh, and I assume that this is the boss, because it's a big door, and I have to click confirm that I want to go in. Uh, and it's got a red mark on the map. So I'm going to wait for that cooldown to come back. Can you stop? God damn it. All right. Vessels long bereft of life remained wrapped in silk. Uh -huh. Caverns had always been a home for the unpleasant, but never the aggressive. Anea Dyer had been absent while her realm fell to chaos. I see. So that wasn't the entrance to a boss chamber, it was the entrance to R2. My cat's driving me insane. See, he goes to the, uh, the front door and balls at the door. But he's an indoor-only cat. He's never been outside. He never goes outside. And even when we, like, try to put him on a leash and let him outside, he doesn't enjoy being outside. So it makes no sense whatsoever that he's meowing to get outside. Like, I, I assume that's what he's doing. Because, like I said, there's nothing he can want. He's not, like, out in the kitchen next to his bowl. He's not... Uh, he hasn't been at his litter, and his litter's clean anyway, so... That's... that's a spider with a skull. Oh! Mammy! Mammy, bruh! That stays on the ground a very long time. Oh! Oh no! No! No, this is bad. This is a bad thing. Bad things are happening. How much you shit? Oh no! Om nom nom poop! Fickle matter! Uh, go way back. I got some money. And I got some new skill points! What is this? Parents firstborn. Left click. <laughs> okay, she is ever vigilant, ever focused. Uh. And as swift a, and delicate with a bow as she is with a fiddle stick. Linda is sharp enough that she can shoot. I'm afraid to click it. Ah. This is just a description of her, but it, it gets cut off. I found it! I found the mistake! This game has one thing that I've found so far in the beta. Uh. Oh, I see. So I've got one invested, and I need to get four in order to unlock this layer. And then I assume I need to get this in order to get this, or this, and likewise with this. That's cool, that's a neat uh, skill tree setup. Um, level 2 damage is 106%. I still haven't had a problem with this, so I'm gonna keep pouring my skills into this. Plus two skill points. Okay, I can't. <laughs> All right, that settles that. Um, I'm already over my time because I normally aim to make these videos like 20, 25 minutes. Um, and the one complaint I have about this game that probably isn't even the game's fault—it's probably my, my computer—but the loading screens are very long for what it is. Most pixel art games only take a couple of seconds to load. This one takes a couple of minutes. Um, but again, that could be my computer. It's probably it probably installed itself on the wrong hard drive or something. I don't know. 
I'm not a scientist. But oh, this is fun. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I keep thinking, like, <laughs> which slot can I put this in for a regular Let's Play when it when the full game is released? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna get all of you guys to come with me. Aha! It is. No, 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 and no, and no, and no, and also no, and no, and no. Can you, can you be dead? There you go. Huh? No? Alright. Huh? Man, spiders are so fast. I kind of forget that I can dodge. <laughs> back to where I was. Let me check something very important. Okay. M is not map. What the actual heck? <laughs> yeah, let me in. Let me in, let me in. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's a very strong combination. I repelled him back and and uh with the, the Berks oh to slip away wondering if this was death huh run duration okay so it does seem like it's a rogue like a rogue light again i don't know the difference it's a rogue game where you're meant to kind of go until you die because that's, that's what this would give me the uh, impression of. So I guess it's loading? They gasped for air as the celestial shire brought them back. A sensation no hero could become accustomed to. As she heard John and Linda describe their foray, thoughts rushed through Margaret's head. The corruption had amplified the creature's wickedness, and no longer were they part of the harmony, the rare. With the new threats looming, Margaret asked her second son, Ben, to prepare his workshop. He would have to take charge of enhancing the warrior family's weapons and armor. Uncle Ben! Uncle Ben can upgrade and enhance the Bergson's equipment. Cool. Um, this Let's Play is now featuring my cat, as well as a cat in the game. Uncle Ben reached out to the familiar warmth of the forge. Workshop is unlocked now, Bergson's can upgrade their gear to grow strong. Oh, he was saying something. I'm sorry. I talked over that. I didn't realize. It, it, it was strangely quiet compared to the rest. Oh. Uncle Ben uses Morv to upgrade the entire family's gear and tools, increasing their main attributes. Sorry, I'm I'm one-handed now. My cat is lying on my other arm. Uh, these are family's main attributes. Selected attributes description can be seen on the right panel. Based on an available attribute. Oh. No. What? No. No. Fine. I have to as part of the tutorial. Okay, so that's the level up system, and it goes by money. All right, all right. Book of Freya. That's another thing, apparently. Uh, so I can't afford. Any other upgrade? Movement speed. Ooh, ooh, I like me some movement speed. Cool. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> She's knitting, and the cat is playing with the yarn. Oh my god, I'm in love. 
library? Ah, let's put it. What about you? What are you up to? She knew where it was coming from. Her ancestors had spoken of such corruption flooding down the mountain. But Grandma Margaret wanted to know what it was and what needed to be done to destroy it. Alright, my cat got tired of meowing at the door and now he's cuddling me viciously. Nothing could quite match the calm that Linda felt when playing her violin. Its sublime sound, the perfect counter to the nerve-wracking uncertainty and chaos. Hmm. Man, this game is super cool. Ah, oh, look at John, out sharpening his sword. I wonder how much of this is actually used and how much is just there for, you know, to make it feel like it fits into the world, you know what I mean? I cannot go through, through the forest picking fruits anymore. Oh, that's too bad. Anyway, um, as much as I want to keep going, I, uh, I just don't have the time. Uh, I do have other videos to record. Unfortunately, um, but this has been really cool. Uh, this game's really well done, uh, I only found that one thing that I don't even remember what it was, uh, what was it? It worked out, yeah, okay. Oh well, whatever. But it controls really well, uh, it's very promising, I'm pretty sure it's a rogue-like, um, I'll be putting the, the link to the Steam page where you can purchase it in the description. So if you're interested in this kind of thing, and you can click on the link and it'll bring you to a page where you can pre-order it, or you could try the beta yourself maybe, if it's available. I'm not sure how long it lasts. I just kind of went for it. Uh, and it'll have more information there, hopefully. But it does seem like it's a rogue game, um, considering that I died and came back. <laughs> and it gave me a description of the run that I had. So I guess that means that the little spells that you get are... Uh, random-ish, or procedurally generated, or whatever. So yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to check this game out. It seems really, really cool. Um, and I'm looking forward to the full game. Maybe I'll do a let's play of it when it's when it comes out. Yeah. Uh, um, tune in next time where I play other games. I don't know. <laughs>